Hey guys, welcome to another video. Hasib here, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the Go High Level Social Planner. We've got a social planner uh, in the sub accounts. That's a really good feature, I would say. And if you are pitching uh, your Go High Level subscription to your existing clients or a new prospect, I would say Go High Level Social Planner is something uh, that brings a lot of value on the table. So a lot of people have been asking me uh, what are the limitations, how to use it, and uh, how to basically pitch it to uh, potential clients. So we are going to talk about all those, but before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah, stick till the end of this video and let's get started. All right, we're gonna see how to connect your social profiles with the Go High Level Social Media Planner. Uh, in this video, I'm using my account as an example. And before I go ahead and connect all the stuff, make sure you are uh, logged into your Facebook account. Your Facebook page is connected to the Instagram account and you're logged into LinkedIn and TikTok as well because uh, those are the accounts we're gonna use. So I am uh, right now in dashboard and I have to go to marketing and here as you can see nothing's connected yet basically go high level connects with Facebook Instagram uh, Google my business LinkedIn Twitter which is known as uh, as X right now so uh, TikTok as well uh, in Facebook it connects with Facebook profile Facebook page also Facebook groups uh, now I'm gonna just hit on the Facebook profile and now it's gonna ask me which page I want to uh, I want to connect also it's gonna ask me which group I want to connect. I'm just choosing my page right now. So yeah, that should be okay. Now, if I hit Instagram, it's gonna ask me uh, if I want to log in through Facebook because if my Facebook page is connected with the Instagram account, that's fine. Now it's gonna ask me to continue as my Facebook account and asking me to connect my Instagram. That's all. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select LinkedIn as well. So yeah, basically make sure you are logged in to all these social media profiles through the same browser you're logged into Go High Level with. So you're not gonna have any problem as long as that's the case. Yeah, it sometimes give you this thing. So just keep trying. And yeah, once you're like successful, it's gonna show up the LinkedIn profile over here. Now we're gonna do TikTok as well. So I'm going to select individual. I'm already uh, logged into my TikTok profile using this window. Now the connection might be slow sometimes, but should be all right as long as you're connected uh, and logged in. All right, so it's asking me to authorize, which uh, I will do now. By, by this, I'm just giving permission to access my TikTok profile. All right, and if I try LinkedIn one more time, sometimes uh, this kind of thing happens when doesn't uh, really authorize you know so um, now i'm gonna just connect my own linkedin profile and not go for other pages and stuff because that's uh that's the thing i want to use for the social media planner all right so now that everything's done this is my facebook page this is my instagram profile this is my linkedin profile and this is tiktok profile so now we can finally get started as you can see it shows all the social media accounts connected to this go high level account and if you have any other VA or anyone who's taking care of your social media, they also can schedule social posts in any of these and in all of these uh, social media profiles. They just have to have access to this sub account. That's all. All right. Now that we have everything connected, it's time for us to try posting something. Now, if I go to new post, before I create a new post, I want to tell you that there's an option where you can actually have all the social media content uploaded in an Excel as a CSV and then upload it. So uh, if I click here and if I download a sample file, it's going to actually show me how it should be laid out in, a, in an Excel file. So the first column will be the dates. Uh, the second will be content. Basically just copy and paste uh all the all the stuff like the content this image url all the hashtags and video urls and stuff and upload it so it will automatically you know fetch everything from the csv and you don't have to go ahead and do one by one but most of the times we actually do uh like individual posts on the planner like uh, whenever i used buffer or hootsuite in in those social planners i used to go and 
individually schedule posts for different social platforms so as you most of the people does the same so uh what i'm gonna do is uh, also i'm gonna show there are a few social media planner templates so make sure you check it out uh also there's content ai which is basically chat gpt and there's rss feed as well but i'm gonna create a new post from here so i can select everything but wait it doesn't work for story and reel that's the only limitation so I'm, I'm i'm talking about the features and limitations at the same time so just bear with me uh if you were trying to do post then you can actually select everything basically and i think tiktok has a different format but for posts you can actually target everything and just type the content and uh, just upload the image and you know do all those stuff but if you are trying to do a reel because most of the times i post reels so what i have to do is i have to go to instagram and just select reel and then upload the reel from here so it doesn't actually work with facebook although we all know, know that uh facebook page actually supports reels but it doesn't let us do that so that's one limitation i would say also we all know that linkedin doesn't have reels so uh but tiktok has post so we could just go ahead and upload a video on tiktok yeah that's the only thing you have to do so in tiktok you have to uh actually select a few more options like who's gonna see the video um i'm gonna post everyone and yeah allow users to comment to add stitch so these are the different options you get just for tiktok by the way and there's a few advanced options as well but that's for go high level that's not for any social media platform specific to any social media platform so uh, i'm gonna say for instagram if you're using reel just go ahead and upload this from here but for facebook you cannot do it from here same goes for story as well for reel as well so it doesn't let us do that from here and uh yeah let's actually try uploading something so i'm gonna select this one and i'll basically uh select this and i'll, I'll just say new video out link in bio or something you know and i can actually uh put hashtags from here but if you want to put hashtags manually you could totally do that uh so that's going to be the format on facebook if you want to select instagram as well you could see the preview from instagram here you know so link in bio totally makes sense and instagram doesn't on facebook so what you can do is you can actually customize so for example I'm, I'm selecting all but i i want to customize the post for for each channel that i can do so in instagram i want a different uh i, I want a different content so i can change it from here by selecting instagram and it's going to change the preview as well so if i hit with uh, an exclamatory mark it's not going to affect facebook content so you can see it doesn't change it doesn't affect facebook or any others but we have to deselect TikTok because TikTok only supports video content. So I, I don't want to, I want to mess, uh, mess around with TikTok with posts. So, uh, there's a few drawbacks I would say, and it's not up to the mark where like buffer or Hootsuite or all those social planners are right now, because those are dedicated social planners, but this is something uh, on a basic level. And especially for local businesses, I would say this is enough because they, they don't like to do a lot of reels, but they, they like awareness posts to just create a brand. And yeah, that's pretty much how we should use and how we can use it for, uh, yeah, for your clients and for yourself as well. So, so whenever you're done uh, creating the content, you have to come down here and you have to either post it. Most of the times you'll schedule it or st send posts for approval as well for clients or, uh, you know, keep scheduling. And in that case, you have to select schedule recurring posts. So I'm going to delete this. I'm not going to post it. So that's how you use Social Planner. Uh, hopefully it was helpful and uh, make sure you subscribe if you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Mm -hmm.